everyone, this is Programmer Mitch. Hope you're enjoying your lost hour today with Daylight Savings. Today we're going to do uh, leak code number 292, which is NIM game. Uh, it's got 147 likes, 567 dislikes. This will be a short one. It's kind of a blink and you miss. Um, if you're prepping for interview questions with this Twitch stream, I don't think you'll see too many questions like NIM game um, anymore. It's kind of a trick question. Um, and it's hard to say, like a lot of questions, okay, is like every question a trick, a trick question in, in an interview setting? Well, this one is especially so. Uh, but let, let's, let's hop right into it. You are playing the, the following NIM game with your friend. There's a heap of stones on the table. Each time one of you takes turns to remove one or th to three stones. So one, two, or three stones. The one who removes the last stone will be the winner. You will take the first turn to remove the stones. So you, you take the first turn. Both of you are very clever and have optimal strategies for the game. Write a function to determine whether you can win the game given the number of stones in the heap. For example, if there are four stones in the heap, then you will never win the game. Basically kind of give a big old hint here for the answer. No matter one, two, or three stones you remove, the last one will always be removed by your friend. So for a question like this, um, it's it's kind of interesting to think about. Okay, what what possible scenarios do, do you win? So if you start with one stone, that's a win automatically, right? Because I just remove the one stone, and then I then I win. Um, if two stones also win, uh, just remove the two. Three is also a win. I just remove the three. The four, as they mentioned here, you will never win the game, no matter one, two, or three stones you remove. The last stone will always be removed by your friend. Right? So if I remove one stone, the friend will remove three. If I remove two stones, the friend will remove two. If I remove three stones, the friend will remove one and always win. So this is always a loss. So how does this extend to um, uh, as, as you continue past the four? Well, well it's five, six, seven, eight. So with five, I can put my friend in the losing situation no matter what, right? Because I can remove one stone. Now he always loses four. Hey, Paul Setting, thanks for stopping in today. He always, uh, then he gets the four. And then we know that whoever gets four automatically loses, right? Because then he'll have to remove one to three and then I can win. So that's a win. If at six, I can also remove down to four, right? Because I just take away two, same, same condition. He has to remove one, three, and I automatically win. Seven is the same way. Now eight, hi Lavender JMK, thanks for stopping in today. With eight stones, am I automatically guaranteed a loss? Yes, I am. Because I have to move one to three, and then my friend is at five, six, or seven, and can put me in the four situation. So if you can kind of see this pattern, um, you'll see that it extends out like this. So basically, if it's divisible by four, you will automatically lose. So um, write a function to determine whether you can win the game. So it's the opposite of that, right? So basically, all we have to do is return, um, if what we're given the number n, if it's divisible by four, um, does not equal to zero, right? In that case, we win the game. So let's go ahead and see if that's the case. We had run, run this earlier, and we saw that it was accepted. And indeed, it's accepted again here today. Um, this is not like a super interesting algorithmic question. We got through it in about three minutes. Um, but it just kind of goes to show you, you kind of want to repeat the question back to people, provide examples, and then think about an approach. And oftentimes, with questions like this, the, uh, the answer will kind of jump out at you. Um, and then you can kind of just go ahead and code, code it out um, uh, there. But this is Programmer Mitch. Uh, this is uh, Leak Code number 292 NIM game. I do practice programming questions every week, usually not this short, uh, at 5.30 p.m. EST. Hope to see you uh, next week.